Hey guys, it's the Andy Sun here. I've decided to add a new weekly segment to my blogging roster. Since you guys reacted really positively with my album reviews, I've decided to make that a weekly segment instead of just an every once in a while thing. It's going to be on Wednesdays and it's going to be called WAR, W A R, which will stand for Wednesday Anime Review or Wednesday Album Review. It can be whatever I want it to be, pretty much. <laughs> for the first episode of WAR, we're going to review uh, Orianthe's new album, Believe. Yesterday, I listened to the newest CD by Orianthe, who most of you know from the clips of Michael Jackson's last rehearsal that have been compiled into the movie This Is It. Orianthe's newest CD, Believe, is certainly making me believe in women taking the jump from singing in a hard rock band to playing killer guitar in a hard rock band. Solos and everything. Time to dive right into the review. Now here's my personal backstory. Like the vast majority of people, I first heard of Orianthe through the leaked tapes of Michael Jackson's rehearsal for his comeback slash farewell tour, bluntly called This Is It. I then saw clips online of this amazing girl blowing my ass away with her incredible guitar prowess and stunning phrasing. When I watched a clip of her performing her song Lights of Manos, she sounded like Carlos Santana on a coffee binge trying to play Steve Vilex. In other words, awesome. After that, I was hooked. I then watched her play some acoustic versions of her songs like Drive Away and Untogether, and it showed me that she was a killer songwriter in addition to being a killer guitarist. Here are the goodies of the album. Although this is only her second album, her first was Violet Journey, released back in 2007, it's one that people are going to be talking about for years to come. Right from the beginning with the first single According to You, this album gets me feeling giddy. It's chick rock cranked to the max, and the vocals remind me of Taylor Swift, a la You Belong With Me, but without the southern accent. The pop-punk rhythms are simply smashing, and the solo will take the piss out of even the best guitarists. The next song, Suffocated, is heavy as all hell, and I'm getting a real Evanescence vibe with it. I expect to hear this bad boy on the metal stations very soon, if they know it's good for them. For the next song, at first, I didn't really like the sound of uh, Bad News, but when the chorus kicks in at the 29 second mark, I warmed up to it real quick. And it's now one of my favorites. When the song Think Like a Man comes on, I swear I've heard this exact song somewhere before. The vocals say country, but the music says rock, and it meshes together beautifully. The acoustic versions of Untogether and Drive Away are some of the songs that I first heard from Orianthe, and their album counterparts sound very different. Untogether sounds like what Red Hot Chili Peppers and Weezer would sound like if they formed a band together. The album version of Drive Away sounds like a slow, alternative rock jam session instead of the quick and punchy acoustic version, but it's still enjoyable. Orianthe's instrumental track, Highly Strung, sounds like she snagged Steve Vai for a couple minutes and kicked out the jams. If you're a fan of Vi like I am, then this track should definitely give you your four minute fix. Now here are the baddies and uglies of this album. It was a very sad day for me when I heard about Michael Jackson's death, as it was for everyone who listened to his music. Sure, lots of us have been cracking jokes at his personal life since around 93, but the man's music and moves were near and dear to people who grew up in the 80s, like me. Now, uh, being on the 30 second clip of one of Michael Jackson's last rehearsals that's been shown a gazillion times on TV and online, Orianthe shouldn't have a problem getting exposure for this album. And speaking of the album, songs like Believe, Feels Like Home, and God Only Knows were too country for my tastes. I'm not saying they're bad, they're just not my thing. There were also two bonus tracks to this album called Find It and Don't Tell Me That It's Over. I haven't gotten a chance to listen to them yet because I don't have them. But I'm going to keep trying to get them so that way I can enjoy the album in its entirety. And here's the verdict. Despite coming off too countryish on some tracks, Orianthe's Believe is a hard rocking classic that will absolutely blow your mind and make you rethink chicks and rock bands. Now normally I give you six tracks to give a clicky click, but this album is just so awesome I decided to upgrade it to seven. So here are the seven tracks to give a clicky click. The first single, According to You, Suffocated, Bad News, Think Like a Man, Untogether, Drive Away, and Highly Strung. As I said before in the beginning of this uh, vlog, this is going to be a weekly feature that will be shown every Wednesday. Hope you guys will join me. So this is the Andy San signing off for now. Telling you guys to check out Orianthe. She's on Twitter. Buy her album. I'll put up links to everything in the sidebar. And uh, hope to see you guys for next week's installment of War. See ya.